I'm Hadas Kuznet in the North Tel Aviv home of Tafrir Ayaron. He is a resident here, and he was born in what was then Palestine in 1930. It wasn't Israel until 1948, and so in 1948 he was a member of the Haganah organization because Israel didn't have a country. So he was here before it actually became a country. Tafrir, what was it like? What, what did Israel look like before it was actually Israel? It was Palestine. What? what yeah, how did it look? Uh, Israel at that time was like, may I say it, a little settlement. Of course, the Jewish population at that time was a little over half a million. The transportation was was not so modern. I remember when I was a little boy, I was born in Petah Tikva, and to go to Tel Aviv, we went by Delijans. Delijans is a Turkish name, you know. Till till 1917, the Turks they rule in this part of the world. So. Some Turkish names remains even after they left. So the Lijans was a <coughs> a wagon by one horse or two, and people went from part to another part to another place by by this wagon. And uh, of course, later on, we start to, to, to have the cars and the buses. But till '48, the country was not developed so much as it looked now, of course. First of all, yeah. Oh, I was going to ask you about 1948. Where were you when the declaration was signed? Do you remember that? I was at home. I was at home. I was in Petah Tikva. And, of course, we were very happy to have our state. We think what a change will be later on in all means. And the... Uh, But, but, you know, very quickly we felt the Arab reaction of the reaction of, of Israel because, because they, on the next day, in, the, in, no, in the November the 30, 48, the first Jews were killed very close to Petah Tikva, and this is this was the the opening actually of the independence war in the independence war in forty eight. Yes. So we stand against the actually all the Arabs were surrounded Palestine, and you know even even the Iraqi soldiers arrived very close to Petah Tikva, where I lived that time. And uh, I remember that my mother also he served that time in the front. So we, very quickly, we were, we stood against a new fact that we are in the war, actually. And of course, this was very sad. And every day, we, have, we had some Israelis were killed, civilians as well as, as soldiers. And this was the, the, the opening of, of the independence war. From this point of view, it was very sad. Can you believe that it's been 60 years already? Since uh, that day? 
Yes, I believe. <laughs> I believe because if I am looking back and I see what a change we have in, in Israel, I can't say that is it, it could not be after 50 years, but anyhow, the change is quite seen in Israel. What's the biggest change for you? The biggest change in Israel in 60 years? The biggest change that the, popul the Jewish population in Israel is now 10 times more than we were in 48. Oh, more than that now. A little bit more than that, I think. Wow. Yeah, about, about 10 times. Uh, sorry. It's about seven to seven and a half million now and if it was yeah six hundred thousand yes. back then it's it's ten times more amazing amazing Tafrir Ayron thank you so much for speaking with me and for having me in your house thank you very much